March 13, 2014. In addition to publishing a full-time displacement JP book for Justice of the Peace Precinct. Do we have a motion for that? Motion by Commissioner Morales. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Maurice. Discussion. Commissioners? Judge, I, just a point of clarification here is who knows about this particular. Uh, mm -hmm. The reason that uh, this temporary employee is, is, is brought before you is because the uh, the uh, the clerk that, that she had to uh, resign, therefore she needs a temporary. Right now we're going through the process of uh, of advertising and so forth. Mm -hmm. The advertisement will will close on Friday, and she goes through the interview. And uh, and then it will be presented to the a recommendation will be made for a full time position, and that's the process that, that we had talked about the last time I made the presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Any more questions, Commissioner? I will call for the question. Those in favor? Opposed by the same sign. Motion. Carried. Motion open. Motion by Commissioner Morales. Second by Commissioner Ruiz. No discussion. Final. Judge, <coughs> commissioners, good afternoon. Should have before you should have for you two reports. One that says uh, financial statements, which is the overall financial statements for the county. And it has our uh, auditor's reports in there. And my opinions, which is the objective of, of our audit are on pages one through five. <coughs> They're on page one on independent auditor's report. Um, we are disclaiming an opinion because we could not uh, get enough comfort as to the numbers uh, because of inadequate records and, and a variety of other things that are disclosed. <coughs> um, everything that we could audit, we have audited. And then there are certain disclosures that are not in the financials that need to be in there in regards to your capital assets and some debt transactions and some other liabilities. Again, that need to, for a complete set and full disclosure, need to be in there. We don't have all of that information <coughs> available or we haven't been able to audit the information. And because of that, that uh, last paragraph on there, which is the fourth paragraph, cites all of those items as to the reasons that we are unable to issue an opinion on your financial statements. The, um, <coughs> the other paragraphs just relate to certain notes that are in the financial statements about some contingencies and in regards to some corrections of some uh, errors from the previous year. So again, the report this year is, is pretty much on the county is pretty much the same as it was the prior year. On the, what's reflected there on pages one through three. On pages four and five are the independent auditor's report on the items that we could completely audit and could issue an opinion on, which are the, the, the Maverick County Public Facilities Corporation and the uh, detention center operations and so the fourth paragraph fourth paragraph there gives you the uh, the opinion and that's an unqualified or a clean opinion that you're getting on that one that's where you want to be what what does it say there go to page go to page it's the fourth it doesn't have a number on it but that one the fourth paragraph the last paragraph in our opinion um that is on uh federal grants right no that one is on the financial i haven't gotten to the federal grants oh okay yet. i'm sorry Okay, so it's that fourth paragraph. It says, in our opinion, the fund financial statements referred to above present fairly. So that means, again, that they're correct in all material respects. The financial position of the uh, Maverick County Public Facility Corporation uh, and the uh, detention center Okay. as of the year and then for the year ended. So those we were able to audit all the transactions that we needed to audit there. Mm -hmm. I think we've got one item that we're still pending and we're trying to wrap up on that. But, uh, but again, 
again, we see most of that. And there's just a few financials that I'd like to point out. Uh, I think the one that you're going to be probably the most interested in is going to be um, the budget to actual on your general fund budget. <laughs> if you'll go to page 89. actual for the general fund. So as you see, the first column was your original budget, then if it got amended is the next one uh, where there were some changes, and then to compare it, the budget to uh, the budget to actual, and actual is what's reflected in the financials of the actual money that you did spend or that you did bring in. And so you can see the variances there. But I think the, the biggest item of note is where you're seeing the excess or deficiency of your revenues over your expenditures. And so your revenues were 11 million 168, and your expenditures were 13 million 492. So again, a deficit of about 2.2 million dollars. Which is uh, fairly comparable to what you had last year as far as that. So last year's deficit mm -hmm. was 2.3 also. Okay, just find if you can find it. Mm -hmm. Where's the money? If you look, the, the, the first two columns are just budgeted numbers, which are your budget that you adopted. If you look okay. at the column, so the first is the original budget that you passed back in September uh, 2011 for the beginning of the year, mm -hmm. and then you amended it later on in the year, and so that that's the final. And then the actual, that's what's reported in your financial statements. It would compare your actual and the general fund to what you budgeted, and we show the variances. If, you, if it's a gut, if you've got uh, brackets over here, that last column, the fourth column, then that's a negative variance, and if it's a positive, it, uh, then it's, it's a positive variance. So, uh, so again, on your, on a budget of 10 million 938, 337, you brought in 11 million 168, about a third of the way down. You can see that number. And then you've got your expenditures, um, and so that's about halfway down the page. You had budgeted twelve million eighty nine. The actual expenditures are thirteen million four ninety two. So those exceeded budget by about a million and a half. In total, when you just you take your revenues less your expenditures, that's where it shows the deficiency of three point uh, two point three million dollars. So you can see what you did versus what the budget that you passed. I know you've just gotten this today, so you haven't had a chance to look at it. Are there any specific funds or questions that you all want to look at the road and bridge? You can take a look at that if you all want to look at that. Or any others that you have? Any Where would you have the road and bridge? That's going to be on page, um, if you go to page, pages 21 and 22, actually it's all on 21, you'll see the general fund and then you'll see the road and bridge. And it's on the big report. <laughs>
came in on the property taxes and uh, licenses, permits, etc., and then any other miscellaneous items. So that was 2.7. Your expenditures were 2.9. So you were over about 250, about $240,000. I think that's where you had done a lot of cutbacks in that area compared to last year, that, or last year, 2011. <coughs> yeah, your your budget, your your expenditures last year were 4.7 in that fund, so you cut back about 1.8. Any questions on, on both particular numbers? I know, again, you're just looking at it for the first time, I understand. So, um, once you have a chance to study it, answer any other questions you might have on that. Well, go ahead, sir. My own. Mm -hmm. How long have you worked in this budget, your, your staff? On the audit. On the audit. On the audit. Yeah. We started in late August. Let's say four months last year, and then another two this year, three. To, to, to the day, we're, we're looking at about seven months. You, your independent auditor's report seems to be pretty bleak, to say. The least. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not good. It's certainly not a positive report on on the the overall operations of the county. The, the funds that we the, the smaller ones, the PFC and the, and the detention center, those those is kind of those have good reports. Okay, here and in the second paragraph of the of the first page that you have. Okay. The first page called independence. Auditor's report. Just a few minutes ago, before you came in, I was trying to find something in here, and about the middle of the page says the county's records do not permit the application of other auditing procedures. Why not? Well, part of it is just the volume of transactions, because you're, because you, when we do an audit of an, any any organization, we look mm -hmm. at your controls that you have to process transactions on a daily basis. And the controls for the last two and now the th three years have been very weak where you know, things aren't reviewed and approved tightly or they're not reviewed and approved at all. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the bank reconciliations are not done on time. You know, we have a lot of adjustments when we come in. When we test transactions, we find that they're not recorded properly or they're in the wrong year. So all of those processes Usually what, what you look is that you're going to sample, you're going to look at a, a portion of it, but because the controls are so weak, we have to look at a lot of records. But it got to the point where, in, in one case, we were trying to test journal entries, which is just correct. When, when activity occurs, it's not a check or a deposit. You make an entry in the books, and that entry will have a reason as to why you're booking it, a rationale. And so we, what we do is we'll sample that and say, okay, we pick a certain sample, and we need to make sure that the backup is there for the journal entry that goes into the mm -hmm. books and that it got reviewed and approved and that it's proper. And so when we looked at those controls, those were not there. And so then we said, okay, well, let's look, what can we do with, with the journal entry? So we took it, we went in there, and we, there were over 5,000 of them. And so we, we stratified them or we put them by dollar size to try to see maybe if we got some bigger ones we could get we can get more comfortable with it, but it was just too many transactions for us to go back and get comfortable with. You have to look at too many items. So, and none of those, a lot, most of those had not been looked at, challenged. Just a person who, whoever entered it in the books, that's what it went with. And so sometimes they make a mistake, they catch it later, 
they move it, and then maybe they did it wrong, and they move it again. And so 5,000 is a lot of journal entries for an agency your size. It shouldn't be, because the way you control all that is when the books get reconciled at the end of every month, and you go make your entries, let's say you have bank charges, you have to report bank charges. Then at that point, when you have the backup for the entry, it should be reviewed before it goes into the computer program. Mm -hmm. But in this case, it's not being reached, it goes in there. So the transactions, that, that, that weakens your control because they haven't been reviewed. And so again, we rely that if those controls are there, we don't have to look at them anything. So we can say, okay, they're functioning, it's going. There's a process to close the books every month. Well, you guys have not had a process to close the books. It just kind of keeps on going going. Because I mean, the cash wasn't reconciled for 2012 until this August, I think is when it was closed, this August of 2013. So almost a year later, the bank accounts, and you've got over 100 accounts that, that, that are done. Same thing on the, the, between funds, you have over 380 or so accounts where they're borrowing money from one fund to the other, the do to do froms, and you know, they've just been building up over the years, and they just, you know, let me ask you a couple of questions here, mm -hmm. if you don't mind. Commissioner, is it okay? Because you, you have the floor. <coughs> Commissioner Reese, is it okay with you? Sir? Do I take that as a yes or a no? No, no, go ahead. No, it's, it's, it's overwhelming to me. It is. Uh, clarify one thing. Which department, so you will know, which department is in charge of having those reconciliations done? Well, generally it's out of the county auditor's office. Okay. I just want to clarify that. So, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are those, con do we have controls in there now? Do you have controls in there now? But we haven't audited into the next right. period. You know, we're being told that the controls are better, that they're happening, but my understanding is they were reconciling cash for the end of 2013. They just finished it about three or four weeks ago. So that's, I mean, we're talking about four or five months after. Okay. Instead of, th these ought to be happening every 30 to 45 days, so it's a, it's a reasonable you, time. You, you don't have, you don't have, uh, on your report also claimed that there weren't enough, not, there's not enough information as far as assets are concerned, due to, due to and due from, or? Right, I mean, the, the and, and let me ask you a late question, because it, it was <coughs> posed this past week. The amount of money that should have been in the airport fund, as an example, where would one find that documentation? In and out of the, the airport fund is on page. Hmm. If you go to page twenty-five, you're going to want to look at twenty-four and twenty-five together because. The descriptions of the account are all going to be on page 24, and then they flow over to page 25. Uh, of which report, sir? Of the big one, the, the, the larger report. Uh, we set the larger one in three pieces, and that's what's probably right. confusing some of it. It should be in this right here, if you go to that, uh, the first section. So if you go to 24, and then you probably need to take it out of there to click, and so you can see this is the airport. What, what is this total? Uh, that's the total, uh, I think that's the total assets. So, but there's a cash, the total cash is there. Okay. There's some receivables from other funds, 2.2 right. million. So that's probably where the money's going. I got loaned out to other funds. Okay. Other I, I just, I want to make sure of that. Okay. And I, and I tell you this because without this documentation, the public would not be aware. There was a report that there should have been $10 million mm -hmm. in the airport fund account. And I'm just saying some numbers here. You had 2.2, is that correct? Right. Okay. Because I think the public needs to know. Because we've gotten to the point where, for whatever reason, numbers have been exaggerated dramatically in the past, and no one's taken anybody to task. <coughs> Our debt went from 28 million to 52 million to now somebody reports it at 80 million. Wow. How how does that happen? When in here it, it states clearly at the end of this audit report that it's 28, which is something comparable to a community of this size. This past week, I read an article where somebody was uh, 
out of context, or I don't know, out of context, a source claimed that there were $10 million at one time in the airport. That, didn't that transaction occur? I just, again, I, more from, I, we have an auditor who right. around at that time. Sure. About 15 years ago, or was it longer than that when that occurred? That, that probably longer than that. Longer than that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think probably over the years it's just been chipped away and was right. used up. Yeah. Well, and, but I, but I, I don't know if it was ever 10 million. Right, right. no. But it, it's important for the public to know because I think we've got to a point where some numbers have been thrown out that have nothing to do with what we're actually dealing here. Right. You know, and, and, and when you have it here, black and white, 2.24, there were improvements that were made to that facility. There have been salaries that have been paid to the people who work in that facility over the last 15 years. So, you know, it's, it's important for me to utilize this to be able to say, this is what was there, and this is where it was used. Okay. Well, one of, it, the, one of the things, did this, this particular, um, one of the things that, that needs to be, that, that it's not reflective in here, and if you look a little bit further down the side, that 2.2, is the land and that story we tried to figure it out two years ago and it just goes that back was the sale of the previous right, it, the sale of the previous property the, re, the requirement was for it to go to whatever new facility but, you have. but you, they're, they're, I'm talking about the radar base that one goes back to like 30 and 40 oh that one goes back to ultimately it needs to get pieced together because we just got it sitting here for a dollar now it's worth a lot more than that right. but as an asset as an asset, it's just record, just a kind of a placeholder. But you get an asset. I don't know what you plan to do with it. So, the property, so but again, it, it's it's that that number is way below what it would be. It's about 800 acres, I think, that you've got out there. So, and I don't know what kind of valuation you would have. It. I mean, you don't necessarily you don't book it at, at appraised value, but there may be some other value that historically would need to be built up as to how that was, whether it was bought or the pieces put together or the the military gave it back. I, there was just a lot of confusion on that, but it was going back as far back as the 30s and 40s, mm -hmm. some of that, and we just, you know, said, well, it's something that needs to be figured out down the road. I mean, obviously, but it's a positive, uh, it's a positive upside because you could have some value there. That's right. It's not recorded. Yeah. And these numbers, the, the solid waste numbers, are supposed to be in your report, they're not, because those, that, those numbers have not been audited, and, and uh, you know, the final numbers on those uh, were needed to. In order to put it in here. And I interjected, Commissioner. I apologize. I know you have a lot more questions, uh, Commissioner Ricks. Uh, one financial statements of the Marin County Solid, Solid Waste Authority. That certainly is part of the county. It is. Nonetheless, you did not. Not for twenty. Not for 2012. We did for 2011, but they haven't been done. Nothing's been done for 20, 2012 as far as uh, auditing the numbers. Oh, so, so when was the landfill deal? Was, when was it done? What the uh, judge? When did it start up and function? Nine. Yeah. At the tail end of 2010. Yes. Ten. Mm -hmm. So the financial activities of the landfill are not present here at all. Right. No, they're not. But why not? Well, two reasons. What, what, we, what we had been presented in, in I mean, I had, either I could put them in there and then disclaim like I would disclaim or not put them in there. That I thought they would raise more questions because the numbers that we were given were really, really bad. They were wrong. And so we just said it doesn't add any. It's going to raise more questions if I put it in there than if I don't put it in there. I mean, either way, I'm going to wind up saying the same because it needs to get audited. But they were not materially correct. I don't know if you recall in the emails that I brought way back in January. That those financials were in there. If you wanted to look at financials, they're in there, but they had they, the number didn't balance. They, you know, there was other a lot of other questions that are raised about them, and I've not seen any kind of revised version of that uh, those numbers. And so, uh, you know, they do need to get audited and, and put in there at some point in time. Um, but they're not at this moment. They're not uh, not available. So we what we hear what we see here. Uh, members of Commission's Court. The draft by Martinez Rosario and Company, certified public accountants, it, it, bottom line is that the county's accounting records 
or inadequate. And then Martinez Rosario and company are saying, you do not express any opinions on the financial statements? Right, because I mean, there's, still, there's still too many transactions that we didn't get comfortable with. We looked where we could find good records was on your revenues. But on your expenditures, that's where we had a lot of problems. So, Judge, if, if the independent auditors uh, have no opinion on our financial matters, how are we going to present it then to state offices and federal offices? They say, well, we you guys don't you don't have anything, guys. Well, there, well that's hold, a on, hold on on that. There, there is there a separate is a, opinion right. on your grant schedule. And so that one, we were able to audit it down to you know, all the transactions. So they would small. save our skin with what we have here as far as going to the... the well, that, that certainly helps because that's what their focus is. I mean, they're going to want to see the rest of this, but their focus is going to be... Okay, what is that? Uh, so the one, uh, that's, uh, a, that's on the smaller report. Federal grants? If this one right here. Right here. So, do we have good news in here? Well, you've got a, you've got a clean opinion. Like I said, I've, I've got an item that I'm still trying to clear. With I need to clear with staff, but again, the numbers we found it, you know, all to be there's there's some transactions that we need to get some clarification on. But we tested all the numbers on this schedule. So if you go to page three, you can see your federal grants, which have totaled up a million six, is what we we audited. And so we're saying that this is. Based on what we found it to be cor that is correctly stated, it's that, that small <coughs> schedule. I'm probably going to try to see if I can't get the fonts a little bit. Department of Housing and Development, <coughs> Development, Department of Agriculture, and so on. Yes, sir. Now, this is what's been cumbersome, and at the same time, uh, I do appreciate about your firm that you were able to separate. That does help Mary County. Because when we're out there and we're, we're, we're sitting down at the table with these individuals and we tell them, look, these grants come out of there's not an issue with these grants. You also need to understand that sometimes when you have an opinion or you don't, and I'm not justifying anything, but when you have an opinion or you don't, they just want the audit on file, period. Am I correct? In some right. I mean, their, their focus is that the audit get turned in timely, which they normally want it no later than nine <laughs> months after the end of the year. So right now we're at about 18 months. They wanted it to nine months, because that's the federal government has a nine month window. If you get it in nine months after your year in, you're, you're okay. And so that's when they want to see it generally. Because what happens to your, like the <coughs> Department of Agriculture at the state, the feds come down on them and say, well, how come you're not following the rules with these guys? So they, they have to enforce the rules of downstream. And so, so that's what's transpiring here. <laughs> Judge, if it would be more helpful with commissioners, if, if we need to have a work session to come down, if you've had a chance to read it, go through it more thoroughly, we can certainly do that. We need to finish fine-tuning this, and there's some areas that still need some wrap-up, uh, but you know, so we can try to get it out sometime next week. But if you want to get it I mean, we want to get it out as soon as possible. Right. Uh, but, but the your independent auditor report finalized should be, would it be ready by next month for the regular meeting? Well, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get it up by the end of the month. No, we want to get it up this month. Next week sometime. Right. Okay. okay. So we, when we have um, a We can have a work session that same day. If need be, or okay. if you want to do it separate, we can do it <laughs> Uh, all I need, to, all I need is, I, I need it like now because I've got TDCA also saying, you know, we need this. You know, we don't want to cut your funding. We're waiting for you to get this. And there's a couple of programs, including the cell phone, that are waiting for that pro for that audit so they can they continue to go forward. So, ASAP. Yeah, I'm not. I don't want to wait till next month. If it could be done today. I'd accept it today. Of course, but we don't have the final report that you're going to submit. We can set up a work session for Monday, possibly even approve it that night, if need be. Nah. 
then. Was it a follow follow up meeting on a Thursday? And if we don't need to take action on that Thursday, we can just wrap it up on Monday, and we won't proceed with the meeting on Thursday. Okay. That'd be suffice. So would you have everything ready by Monday? Yeah, well, I think so. I mean, I need to work with the, with the county auditor staff and get see if we can clear some of well, those things. The county auditor has mentioned time after time that you already have all the information. Well, it, uh, we have most of the information. I wouldn't say we got all of it. We got most of it, and we just need to clear up. You know, there's some communication says where we've already sent it to you, so we have to get, clear all of that. We, we've gone through our records. We can't find some of that stuff. But again, if they did send us, we'll, we'll track it down. But again. Uh, the, uh, the one area that we really had to, to spend a lot of work to, that, that at the end that I'm still uh, needing to, to you know, finish up is the, the recording of all the debt. You had three debt issues, and, and those, the records on that was just a disaster the way it was recorded. And so we had to make huge adjustments to get that to work. And it, nobody had analyzed it or done anything with it at all. It just it was posted in there wrong. And so we made a lot of entries to put it in the right accounts in the right place. And, I, there may be some things that still need fixing because I, there's a lot of those interfund accounts got junked up with a lot of stuff and I need to finish analyzing those to make sure if I don't need to pull out some more stuff that's not in the right account because the, the, it impacted those and the transfers your transfer numbers uh, if you if you go to the go back to that general fund well just go just go to that page 89 that we were looking at and I can show you where I'm still I'm not totally comfortable with, with that particular part of it. Um, well, you realize that the last time you were here, no, was it? it I've been down here quite a bit. I mean, sure, it, but, uh, it, it's the same song. <laughs> I think I'm hearing the same thing. It, it's been rather repetitive the last three yeah, years. Yes. So, it, it, uh, so if you go to that schedule, at the, at, there at the, at the bottom, where it's, it has that other sources and after that deficit, that other sources and uses, that's where we're seeing all the debt and, and the transfers in and something. And then if you look over in the debt service fund, those transfers in and out, I, I don't, I think those may need some modification. I don't think they're quite right. So that's what we still needed to, to do that. But all, all of this activity had been recorded into the debt service, which it shouldn't be in there. Because as a debt service, just should you have the tax money that comes in any, you know, penalties and interest, some interest earnings, and then it should show the debt service and the bond principal and, and interest charges, et cetera. And, uh, and so we think we've gotten that particular part done. It's just there at the bottom and the other sources. I think we may have some more adjustments coming through to get those numbers. Because they look grossed up to me. They look like they're a little too big. And so I just need to finish analyzing that. And then there's some some of the items that where we took exception. We didn't have enough, if we get some of the information we're looking for, we may be able to clear them up so there won't be as many as many things piled into that paragraph and things that we couldn't get comfortable with. But I mean, one of the one of the items that we have this year is that we're we're not going to be able to get a representation from from the county auditors that that they've given us that the records are, are true and correct and everything's there because there's records that he can't. Those 5,000 journal entries, he, he couldn't take responsibility for them, So nobody's taking responsibility for those 5,000 journal entries. So that, that impacts the, the quality of the evidence that we're looking at. Um, and so, you know, that's another item that we put in there. We normally would get... He, he could or he wouldn't? Well, he, he admitted that he hadn't looked at them, so I don't think he, I mean, he could say something on paper if he wants to say it, but, you know, but we know that the story hasn't been looked at. So it's, if you have that many transactions and that many dollars that can't take responsibility for it, there's no sense in even pursuing representation on that. Because I don't, I mean, I don't think, I mean, I don't, you know, I don't think where it, 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 if it hasn't been looked at, how can you take responsibility for it? Right now, Judge, we're looking at some a work session next Monday. Correct. Uh, Commissioner, any questions? Is there any more? Commissioner? Oh, no. Do you have any questions?
Mr. Martinez, do you need any kind of action on today's item? No. All right. There will be no action on this item, sir. Back to the meeting. We'll formulate both of those items. Thank you. Thank you. Motion by Commissioner Morales, seconded by Commissioner Ruiz. Discussion. Uh, Rito, do we have an issue? No, the thing is, uh, Maida was uh, hired by for the county uh, for Patty, and then um, she was working with uh, the auditor's office for the whole last year. and. Um, she couldn't take the vacation because because of the work that she was doing for the auditor. That I don't think it's fair for my department to pay for the vacations. Okay, we do have money on the planning department under the. Yes, there is some savings that have been there that would pay for that accumulation. Correct. Commissioner John, any questions? Well, maybe some of those reports are not filed in a timely basis because the buyer is not there anymore. Is that possible? Is it true that the auditor didn't let you take your vacation? <laughs> you didn't use that thread about going to work somewhere else? Or you try to get those papers? <laughs> <laughs> Only for other people in the department? I see. Okay. Right. first and second, we're still in discussion. Any more comments or questions? All those in favor? Both by the same sign, motion carries. Second. Second by Commissioner Green's discussion. Uh, you all should have a copy there, Mr. Nevadas. I already uh, looked through it. Um, I wanted to bring it to you all so you all would understand. I'm just going to go ahead and do it without your approval. But I think everybody should be okay with this. We appreciate the assistance of the city on this matter. Are there any questions in reference to the agenda? No, sir, no questions. Very right. well. All those in favor? Opposed by the second sign, motion carries you. Very good. 